Today's episode is being filmed with a brand new camera and this is the first time I'm using it so please bear with me through any audio video issues. So if you were here last week you may have seen my episode about how Marvel and DC are changing their upcoming lineups to the point where I don't really recognize them anymore. Batman is now a robot with bunny ears, Green Lantern is a space hobo, uh, Hawkeye is now an old man, Venom is a space knight, so forth and so on. This week I just want to follow up on that topic and address some questions I saw some people have, particularly with what to do while these changes are occurring. Now to be clear, I'm not opposed to these changes at all. I don't think they came across very well last time. In all honesty, this should be expected by now. Mainstream superhero comics need to keep changing and evolving if they're gonna survive. And if it has to be drastic, then it has to be drastic. The issue here is that for the first time, Marvel and DC are making these radical changes at the same time. And there are changes that go well beyond a simple costume redesign. There's more emphasis on being new, being different, and being diverse, which is great. But it does leave people who want a more traditional take on, let's say, Superman or Wolverine with an itch that they can't scratch. So what are you going to do if you're a fan of the older stuff? Well, as I mentioned a while back in my video on Hipster Batgirl, if you want to read Classic Batgirl, go read Classic Batgirl. There's absolutely no way you've read every single thing on a particular character. And if you're not liking what's going on currently, go back and read some of the older stuff. I'll be honest, Robot Batman is currently not setting my world on fire, but that's fine because I have all of these that I should probably get to reading sometime soon. And if I'm not going to be reading Robot Batman, I'm still going to get my Batman fix. Let's say you don't want older stuff. You want something new with modern writing and modern art styles. And that's perfectly understandable. As much as I like Sam Wilson as Captain America, I can see Steve Rogers being Captain America till the end of time. Well, just because, say, Wonder Woman is in a stupid new costume, doesn't mean DC isn't putting out stuff where she's in her classic outfit. Pretty much all of DC's digital first titles like Batman 66, Sensation Comics, Injustice, Flash Season Zero, they're all offering more traditional takes on their popular characters. Even the books based on their old TV shows and games have more in common with the characters that you know as opposed to what's currently going on. And in Marvel's case, try some of their Secret Wars tie-ins based on their classic stories like Old Man Logan or Renew Your Vows or Civil War. And if you're still not satisfied, I have one more option for you. Give the new stuff a try. I know, shocking, right? Things may be radically different from what you're expecting, but you might wind up actually liking the stuff. Like, I actually like Jane Foster as Thor, and the punk rock Black Canary, and believe it or not, I kind of like Hipster Batgirl to a certain extent. Spider-Gwen not so much, I'm sorry, I just couldn't get into it. Can't be afraid to try new things. How else would a character like Tim Drake or Kamala Khan have survived without a fan base to give them a shot when they first came out? So go give the new stuff a try, and who knows, maybe you'll like X-23 as Wolverine. And if you don't, it's no big deal. Just go back and read Greg Rucka's Wolverine. I guarantee you'll enjoy that. Anyway, how are you guys handling all these changes? Let me know down below or literally anywhere on the internet. Also, Bob wanted me to tell you to buy this shirt from BustedTees.com. He made it, so I guess he's proud of his work. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with your friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Now, I haven't been keeping up with Green Lantern for the past few years since Jeff Johns left. So I figured I'd pick it up again with this new relaunch because they said it would be a nice, easy jumping on point. If I knew why Hal Jordan was now a space drifter who was on the run from the core and sporting a magic power glove instead of a ring. I still have not played Arkham Knight. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, that will have changed. Right, and hopefully I'll stop hogging the PS4 so you get Yeah, you hogged to... it all day yesterday and I was all ready to play I it. I hate to tell you this, probably going to hog it all day tomorrow too.